Introduction The foremost 3,000 years of Christianity is not written as a conventional script. Greek and Israel share a common privilege and destiny. Understanding the divinity is totally discreet in both the cultures. Devoid of emotions is the Almighty according to the Christianity, while the Israel believed in the intensely passionate as well as personal deity. Both views were reconciled only through the person of Christianity. Conversion and repentance are two major concepts in the vocabulary of Christianity. It is quite intolerant for other faiths. Some of the principles may have connections with principles of Judaism. Many voices or genres are spoken in the Bible. Latin, Greek and the oriented language speaking groups were the initial believers of Christianity. Development of theology was greatly affected because of the linguistic barriers. Divine and human nature of Jesus Christ were discussed in all the three languages. Many Christians today believe that it is unaltered in all these years by its unique principles, but that is not the case, though. Rome and Greece during the first thousand years before Christ Jewish context is mostly assumed by a majority whenever they talk about early Christianity times. Greek language and the philosophies did dominate during the early days of Christianity. It is just because of this fact that Christians follow the Greek or Roman culture. Logos basically is the Greek word. The Gospel of John was reliant on the Greek word Christ in preference to the Hebrew Messiah. Shadows and echoes of the philosophical teaching of teachings of Socrates are contributions to the Greek or Roman culture. Christian debates are based on the Aristotelian and Platonic perspective. Israel during the first thousand years before Christ. Christianity took root from Jewish culture. The time period between King David and the Jesus Christ are considered as significant for Christianity. This is called as the first millennium. Yahweh is the supreme God. It was during this millennium many beliefs in the Judaism were embraced by Christians. This includes the resurrection and even afterlife. The concept of soul in humans came into belief. Crucified Messiah Between the 4th century before Christ and the 100 years before Christ is the crucial period to focus keenly for learning Christianity better. Christianity slowly emerged as a sector of the Judaism. Gentle God-fearers who are non-Jews also started to believe in Christianity. They separated from Judaism. Complex and rich historical contexts made Christianity to spread far and wide. Celebrating the resurrection of Jesus began by the end of the first century. Jewish Christians were sent to exile from Jerusalem after this period. Christianity split from the Judaism completely. St. Paul's and the New Direction for Christianity Baptism was brought into practice rather than Judaism. Pass on meals in Judaism culture and the last meal of the Christ with his followers had correlation. John and the followers further led Christianity in the same direction as did St. Paul. Majestic discourses and the metaphors were used to preach Christianity. Jewish revolts in the 66 CE were intense. The Jewish Christian church had to flee from Jerusalem during this period of revolt. Sunday became the feast day for the Christians at this point of time instead of the Sabbath. Virgin birth of Jesus was considered as a misreading of the Hebrews by the Abionites and the Gentile Christians have to disown them too for this reason. Mark, Matthew and Luke were all written only after the demise of the Jesus Christ. These were written after a period of 50 years. Boundaries were defined. Canon, creed and the Catholicism are significant as three forces that united the Church. As soon as the canon was established, they raised the question of how to interpret it. They started to believe that the Christ is about to be reborn soon. Social distinctions were not radically challenged, as per the precedents set earlier. Now, it is customary to call the AD as CE and the BC as BCE. But why? 
If anyone is not aware of these facts, then anyone must know the history of Christianity for sure. History of Christianity is simply classified into two eras. That is the post-Christ era and the era after the birth of Jesus Christ. The Messiah of God, the Jesus Christ, was born and died in and around the last century BC. This era of thousand years before the birth of Christ is called as BC period in history. This period is now being referred as BCE. Christianity and the New Testament Again, the other word, Anno Domini, is the full form of AD. This is considered as the era after the birth of Jesus Christ. In order to refer quickly in the history scripts, for anyone to understand the period, it used to be denoted by AD. Now this is called as the Common Era, and that is why that is being referred as CE. The Common Era is a far more generic way of mentioning the time period without any mentioning about the Christ. Believing in the Christ is only left to the individuals. To not to instill that in the generic historical term, the anti-Christians, or those who have their own language, call it to be their rights to mention these time periods in their own way as BCE and CE. This argument was accepted universally by all the nations. Today everyone is using these abbreviations CE and BCE alone in any of the history scripts with a generic mentioning about the time period without relating to Christ and Christianity alone. Christianity and Old Testament There are 66 scripts in the Bible. New Testament forms one group. Old Testament is the chronicles mentioned in the Bible scripts offer extensive knowledge about the life of the people in the past. It sheds light about the right type of living and the wrong deeds to instill good practices, deeds and thought processes in the minds of the common. Reading the Holy Bible can make one understand about life to a better extent. With the chronicles in the different scripts, and the so many facts that are mentioned along with that in these works, makes one understand about the intricate aspects of life. Christianity Principles Reading and learning the experience of the others can be of the best help to the others. To experience and learn is a tough process and takes time. Going by the experience of the others can facilitate one to learn at a faster rate. That is the reason why the valuable scripts like the Bible are there to guide the commons. When anyone is taking time to read the scripts for quite some time every day, anyone is enlightened. When anyone is reading all the scripts, then anyone will get to know many facts about life. Anyone becomes smart enough to face the challenges that are thrown at you. Concentration, focus and skills will get sharpened. Anyone is a better personality with the knowledge that anyone gained by reading the 66 scripts. Moreover, the major purpose of putting things in paper by the scholastic people of the past is not to show to the upcoming generation about their marvellous powers and feats achieved that era. It is just to ease the life of the upcoming generations to come. It is the moral duty of all. With the knowledge that the ancestors leave in the form of valuable scripts, the knowledge transcends to the successive generations. If it has taken six years for someone to understand the astrophysics through intense learning, understanding and by conducting experiments, testing and research. Christianity and Preaching This experience can teach the others who are reading scripts presented by the former. hundred days is enough to learn it to perfection. It means six years' time is not needed for the other person who reads that valuable script. It means the readers can start to dig in more and research further from where the former had left. Now the research process is possibly completed within time as the new person has saved more than five years' time in understanding the concepts. Short time is not a constraint for the next successors to learn and acquire mastery. This is the major reason why the scripts, like Bible or any other holy materials of any other religion, must be used efficiently. These are real assets of the mankind to pass on real knowledge and wisdom. The New Testament is all about the story of Jesus, life as well as death. When anyone is reading the information about the resurrection here, then it is easy to understand about the final judgment day. When the history is over, then the final judgment comes with Jesus appearing in front of us once again. Christianity and Conversions 
Conversions are one of the key objectives amidst Christians under many a circumstances. They are trying to pull in as many people as possible into following their own religion. Why that and what is the reason for that? If they are not going to help others change their mindset about the understanding of their life, then they are sure to be left aloof with no real knowledge and wisdom. In saying such people cannot realize the joy of truth and life of non-violence. They would suffer during the final judgment day. Christianity opening the eyes of the commons. Judgment day is meant for those who are good and bad both. It is this day that is to tell anyone the truth. The more good that anyone does as a Christian or a non-Christian, the far better will be the yield on the day of judgment. If not, then the converse is also possible during the judgment day. To not to regret later on when everything turns to be spilled water, it is good to release the simple fact that there are best chances to change right now. For any change to happen, there must be a new beginning. There must be guidance. There must be a motivation. That motivation to drive people and make them realize the life goals and the genuine way to lead life, they need a path to follow with sincerity and dedication. This is created through the religion that they are following. Chapter 1 Christianity for Enlightenment If that religion is Christianity, then the converting individual gets the best chances to mingle with massive number of others who are already brought into that community. It means they are together. They get companions. They are getting companions regardless of their own demographics. A new Christian from Africa gets assistance from deep somewhere in Australia or America just because of this simple fact that they are belonging to one community and that is Christianity. So, basically, the purpose to do conversions can be understood here clearly. People are targeting to do as many conversions as possible just because of the reason that there is a lot of meaning behind it. People get supported in the best manner just because of these reasons when they get converted to Christianity. They are getting guidance. They are getting trained. They are getting assistance from the rich and the affluent in the society. They are provided with all the best changes to come up in their life and to lead a happy lifestyle. They understand how to lead the life happily without wasting time in running behind huge wealth. Massive changes amidst non-Christian groups. Money is not pivotal enough to lead a great life. This is understood with the teachings that are coming in from the best of the Christian mentors. Along with that, they are sure to quote from the New Testament and the Old Testaments to make the audience believe with valid proofs of the past. This is the change that the world needed before the birth of Jesus Christ. Now, tremendous changes have come in just because of the resolve taken by the great Christians initially like St. Paul or St. Peter or St. Thomas and their successors too. Selfish life led by these great tenors to spread Christianity in the past and the effective number of conversions that they did through their massive presentations and seminars have enlightened thousands and thousands of people so far. New Thought or the Ancient Wisdom New thought movement and the fundamental principles behind it are often misinterpreted and underestimated by a massive number of populace. The thoughts of European philosopher named Thoots is adapted to the modern palettes as new thoughts of Hermes. New thought moments are usually based on the beliefs of divine goodness, mutual respect against the economic status, race or creed or gender discriminations creative potential in humans, laws of attraction or the agreement of the righteous things, pervasive nature of divinity. These may sound so simple. If needed, anyone can compare that with the declarations of independence of both nations, and it could be just one and the same just with a few words. And it could be just one and the same just with a few words weave different here and there. In reality, ancient wisdom is not limited to just the few points mentioned above, though. Christianity and the New Thoughts Since 1849, Emma Curtis Hopkins is said to have coined the term New Thought Moment. 
Emma is one confident and prolific personality who speaks point black truth under all the circumstances. That fetched a great number of enemies socially. She can be considered as a controversial personality in the history. She likes to stand up for what she believed in, more than what the historians have said already. Is it clairvoyance that gave her that confidence? Securing women's rights was an important point in most of her opinions suggested to the society. She believed that women had enormous potential equal to men, or sometimes even more than that. Utilizing that can only improvise society instead of suppressing women from most of the social activities. Women got rights to vote in the United States for the first ever time, just because of the initial steps that were put forth by these eminent women of the past. Scope of Christianity Eastern lesions from major religions of the East, like Hinduism and Buddhism, were brought into the Christian ideologies by Emma. She believed that the seed of the truth is existing within all the religions of God. In other words, she did not believe the fact that Christianity is bounded by any individual teachings or some strict dogmas. She had her unique principles which most often were challenged or not agreed by the Christian leaders at that time. She was dismissed from the post of being an editor of the Christian Science Journal. Eventually she came up with her own church. There become two completely different groups operating as unaffiliated organizations. People did not realize this, but they were interested in the preaching and followed what the Christian Science Movement and its teaching in all over the 37 states in the USA by then. Fish is a symbol of Christians. Fish dollars became very famous amidst the Christians. Dollars, necklaces and the rings with the symbol of fish became very famous. Fish symbols were used in cars and in many other diaries, scripts and note scripts symbolizing Christianity for quite some time. Most of the changes that came in were only temporary though. People who followed this blindfolded soon started to realize it when questions were raised by quite a few out there. Questions were raised with meaning trying to dig out the reality being the practices. Christianity and Emma's Changes Emma was not the only person in history to do so. Thutes, Socrates and Plato are remembered today in history because of the simple fact that they came up with novel ideas and spread their smart ideas to the common man. They instilled those ideas as practices to be followed by future men and women who may or not be having equivalent intelligence and broad understanding of the social lifestyle. The upcoming generations were smart, but that did not limit those communities from using the ideas of the past. In fact, those ideas lay the foundation for modern principles and policies to be framed for a better social lifestyle and economic standards to be built. Similarities behind the Declaration of Independence statement in the recent times and the thoughts of the ancient philosopher in Egypt were not different just because of these reasons. Five thousand years before the philosophers were able to say on what is the ideal need for the best social life, not because of the fact that they had clairvoyance. It is just because of the ability to see things in full perspective. It is just because of the amount of time they put forth in understanding the social life of the populace from various angles in various degrees. Their teaching became valuable assets, and it is just because of these reasons they are being remembered all until the end of the world, while big rulers and their names get washed away and eroded in the history so easily in just a few years' time. Personal Life and Social Contributions Writing theologies in poverty is not easier for Egyptian philosophers. Yet, they were determined to tell a message to the populace as they thought that is far more important than many personal commitments. They are of the anonymous opinion that their personal happiness comes as the least priority compared to what they have to communicate to the mankind of the upcoming years. Some of them thought that is a moral responsibility of any individual who is able to tell something really valuable to the society. To tell something really valuable, learning and the wisdom to understand things with rationality is very crucial need. Inferences must be there. Clarity must be there. Research mind never sleeps but thinks even during sleep. 
That is the way they were able to keep track of the past experiments and the improvisations to be done ahead. Christianity and the World Religions There were not notepads and computers to help them recollect from one stage to the other, yet they were able to do so with only their mental ability to grasp and remember ideas. The ideas, once arrived, were carried further without losing that novel thought, and they firmly thought these ideas must be noted down to be helpful for the others in the future. That is how anyone are able to understand now on what is being taught to us as the teachings of Socrates or Alexander the Great or Aristotle the Great. That is how anyone is getting the best of the ancient wisdom in one way or the other. Religions are doing this transcending information role since so many years now. Changes are being made often in the course of the process over the years, like what Emma did in the 19th century in one religion, Christianity embracing the values of many other world religions from East. Mastering Clairvoyance For that one must have the worldwide knowledge. For that there must be worldly wisdom, in order to become such preeminent personality, believing in religions like Christianity alone is not enough. Learning is a must. Learning the past, learning the teachings of the good old leaders and many others is a must. Without reading it, it is not possible to understand the roots and the causes behind the so many principles that are being strictly followed in not only Christianity but also in many other religions. Understanding the significance will only make one to come to two conclusions, either to follow the rule or to neglect it in the future. If the importance is understood with clarity and the best benefits are reaped by following the same principle even strictly for the upcoming years. If the research is not helping to find any valid facts to support the idea, then there are thousands of people who are not going to follow the ideology anymore. The strict guidelines are changed once again in that part of the lessons taught in that religion. There are so many examples that can be quoted in Christianity in that way. Some believe in Jesus, but there are so many others who are of the different opinion just because of these reasons. Some are only interested to pray the Jehovah, the one and only God. Usage of fish as a symbol is not continued for a long time by the Christians for the same reason. Cross necklaces were not used after a period of time, too. Likewise, there are so many beliefs and ideas that get altered over the years. Amendments are being made then and there. That is why there is so much difference between the Old Testament ideologies and the New Testament ideologies. So that shows that the changes started to come in very earlier in the human history since the beginning of the common era, and it is not just a recent process. Still, there is much more to come in the future, too. Challenges and Struggles Christianity is not being followed by so many others in the world. They are of totally different opinions about the ideologies of Christianity. They have their own mindset, thought process of some kind that are deliberately fabricated just because of their patriotic feeling towards their own religion, thoughts, and so on. They try to safeguard the interests of their own demographics. It is not uncommon. Crusades of Christianity were not limited in the past just because of these reasons. Chapter 2 Two Centuries of Crusades Period There were so many Christmases that were eradicated for almost two centuries in different parts of the world and the life of the Christians were a literal struggle. Influential in the Europe as well as in the rest of the world, the Christian Crusades have so many interesting inferences to make in the minds of the learners of the Christianity history. About half a million Christians were eradicated during this period of Crusades. It is called as the one of the most horrifying and disastrous experience for the entire Christian's community. They suffered from the hands of the worst Crusaders. Traumatic suffering and the loss of wealth were needless to mention here. It is quite usual that the holy wars will only result in the best options at the end of the war that would finally emerge victorious and lasts forever. In that way, the world identified Christianity as a world religion to be anonymously identified by the worldwide populace. 
That is the reason why today there are so many Christians around the world who are working in unison to help each other and trying to prosper in their combined objectives. First, role of Catholic Church was reinstated with much more emphasis. Second, the power of the Catholic Church enhanced. Third, impacts on the national politics and the influences see positive growth. Fourth, economically affected civilizations managed to recoup and bounce back to normality after the Holy War. Fifth, commerce structure. Sixth, feudalism structure. Seventh, impede social improvement. Eighth, intellectual developments. Ninth, number of voyages related to discovering new lands and assets increased. Tenth, material developments. The power of papacy was greatly supported by the Christian Crusades. Contributions to the wealth of the powerful Catholic Church increased by and large. Most of the world population today follows Christianity, as per the stats. 2.4 billion of the world population is not something less to consider as a minority group. It is massive number of populace which is following the religion. It means the value and impetus for the religion and its principles are sure to be respected by the other populace too. Yet there is always a rivalry between the world people of different religions claiming that their own religion is the best in the world. Is it tough to accept such arguments or it is right to argue so? If anyone is interested in knowing the answers, then just go through the Holy Bible of your own. Anyone will come to know about the reality. The principles and teaching of most religions are just one and the same. No religion tells the people to find fault with the others who are not competent enough to study or converse or work hard or be smart. No religion in the world tells anyone to dominate over the others. No religion in the world tells anyone to show the religious supremacy to the other people in the world. All that a religion can teach is about the good deeds and the right lifestyle at the end of the day. More than anything that, the emphasis is not at all about spreading the misconceptions. That is why adequate training is being offered to people who are interested to take baptism. What is baptism? Just like any other education, to learn Bible and follow the principles of Christianity with dedication and sincerity and to face the challenges of life with agility, training is offered to selected few candidates who are ready to sacrifice some worldly affairs, bond and so forth. For that, they take a vow in the church and the holy water is sprinkled on these people who are willing to get sacred from then onwards in their life. Such individuals are offered baptism and their lifestyle changes from that moment to be a lot more deviant from the normal others. They will try to reduce their sins as much as possible. They will not indulge in many activities that a common man does. Most of the time, the emphasis will be about the non-violence alone for these special people. On the other hand, there are people who are well versed in Bible studies even without getting baptised. Why must anyone know the history of a religion before anyone gets used to following the principle of that religion? Faith and belief increases big time when anyone is going to know the vital facts about following the religion right from the scratch. Starting from first century to all now, what is the story and how Christianity did came into the picture? Why Jews were the ones who got converted into this religion in big numbers? Who is the Messiah of God? How did the whole Europe started to believe in this language in just a matter of few centuries? During the medieval ages, almost any part of the European continent had one religion, and that is purely Christianity. If Jesus is a messenger of God, then who is Muhammad the prophet? If both are messengers of God, then what to follow as a religion? Is it Christianity the right religion to follow, or is the Islam that is good? Lots of questions arise in the minds of the common man before him or her choose to follow any religion for that matter. Moreover, there are so many initiatives that are being vigorously taken by these two major groups of the world to lure in the attention of the masses from all over the world. Even though anyone cannot say completely that the two groups are hostile to each other, embracing other religion and its principles or values is not followed by many out there so easily. 
while there can be respect for each other in the two world's big communities, there are surely a lot of controversial issues today to take into key consideration as well. If that is the case with these two religions alone, then how about the other religions? Which is right and what is to be followed? If anyone is interested to get answers to all these questions to follow any religion, then first and foremost thing is that anyone got to be ready to do your research. Findings that anyone gains will make anyone come to reality to understand what is right and what is wrong. Further to that, anyone can choose to talk to the world-class experts and religious gurus and pundits to get to know more and more about any religion in the world and its ultimate goal. Most of the religions are surely going to accept that point that anyone are to behave with humanity and most of the time anyone are erring for so many reasons. Trying to get rid of all social and economic issues is so easily done if and only if this basic morale is instilled in the minds of each and every individual out there. When anyone is not leading a disciplined life, then there are chances for big violence to occur. Remember what happened during the 8th century beginning. The Vikings Era when the whole of the human populace was trying to rules and ethics to live a decent life, embracing ideal values and principles in life, the barbarians from the northern part of Europe were the Vikings. These people believed in sudden attacks that are fast and furious enough to kill communities in massive numbers and thrived by such massive assaults during when they plunder huge amount of wealth. It is not just wealth alone, though. There were brutal assaults that killed too many people. Women were raped. Children were abused. So many things happened all of a sudden, all in one time. They became the worst of the menace at that time for the peacefully running life of the Europeans in the Francois, Wales and Ireland and so on. Even the other parts of Europe and Iceland and some parts of Mediterranean domain was all attacked then and there by the Vikings who know nothing but to steal and kill. They live in groups too. They were looking to settle in so many parts of Europe permanently. The lavish life of some kings who were ruling Francois at that point of time and the lethargic attitude of some nobles who took Vikings on a lighter vein made them pay big for their casual attitude. For centuries the Vikings were established in the European surroundings here and there. In fact, their explorations went from Europe to North Americas too. Strong evidence was there to prove a point that North America was discovered well before Columbus, just only by the Vikings community. The press and the media in operations since those days gave credit to only the selected few, and that is the reason for the misconceptions. With the rise of Napoleon the Great, changes came in quicker and the French Revolution brought in lots of changes to the major republic of France. That was the role model and that trend was followed by many nations around the world to become separate republics. The popularity of Christianity was spreading all over the world in all these years. Yet, at the same time, the island religion was getting profound as well, with big preachers for that religion reaching far and wide across the globe to spread their religion in particular. With that said, one can understand the rivalry and competition between the two communities that are spread all over the world to make sure that they are getting their own religions established in any part of the world. They supported the people who belong to their own religion regardless of the caste, creed or racial barriers. That is the way to show unity as a human populace. Yet that did not exist for a long time. Crusades were there in the tug of war. Direct conflicts and indirect attacks started to become so usual amidst the varied religions of the world. Christianity is universally accepted to be a best religion to follow by majority group, but still there were rivalries under the same religious group too. Just like how the Muslims split into two different groups to fight with each other in the Middle Eastern domains, the Christians had their own different types of groups too under the same religion. They were worshippers of Jesus. They were worshippers of Mary. Roman Catholics were different from that of the believers of the Pentecostals. The ultimate aim of bringing in values and principles in human life through religions and social ethics became pointless once again. 
The fight can outbreak for any reasons whatsoever between human populace and that was proven to perfection with such outbreaks of combats in the same religions. In fact, the violence within same religions became pretty intense enough compared to the other religious groups. Christianity all over the world is not one and the same. The principles are not one and the same. There was enough initiatives taken by the leaders and the priests in the churches to educate people and also make sure that they are doing enough conversions possibly with the common populace. Sooner or later, attractive schemes were kept in front of the insane and needy to get converted into the religion of Christianity. One can argue that it was done with a noble intention to make sure that they are bringing in quality changes in the world through enlightening others. Bringing in values in life and to make them follow some high quality ethics and all the circumstances regardless of the so many challenges that life throws at them was not easier. Yet the Christian leaders were so confident about bringing in changes by making the people getting converted to their own religion. Same efforts were done by the Islamic groups of the world too. Same efforts and sometimes unethical methods of approach were followed too. By some weird groups, by some weird groups sometimes. It is the sheer misconception of the ideology or it may be sometimes for personal benefits or otherwise it could be for any other reasons probably. Yet wrong motivational speeches and guidance were offered to the public. That made people from other communities to run away from these preaching. Christianity didn't grow so easily amidst masses. There were deliberate attempts made by the Christians who occupied the creamy layer of the society. They had influences and contacts to fulfill their goals with manpower, wit and also money power. They spent a lot of money to clean the world. They spent a whole lot of efforts, time and money too, to make sure that the earth is clean to perfection as much as possible to make it a lot more suitable place to live in. Safety and security to people were not there before as there were artificial threats always. Artificial threats here means the threats created by the humans on their own. Survival of the fittest was not the case of the primitive men and women alone, though. That was the same case all until the recent few centuries, too. Even now, the case is not completely safe anywhere, but anyone are far ahead of what anyone were earlier. Two world wars have taught enough to the human populace. Peace moments were called for. The ultimate best ideal behind the peace awareness camping is to make the world populace understand and realise of the two big wars across the globe and to stop all the chances of the outbreak of the third one as well. NATO treaties were formed. WHO and ILO and many more organisations were formed. SARC, UN and many treaties at international level were just aimed at suppressing the terrorist activities of all levels in any part of the world. This is how anyone is preventing the World War III so far. That is how anyone is staying somewhat secured and safe with enough protection. Conclusion Christianity instills on non-violence and peace those who follow Christianity truly and sincerely will be following the ideologies that are inculcated in the minds of the Christians worldwide so as to bring in valuable changes in the society they do live in. That is aimed at world growth and prosperity in genuine ways towards one love.